was when the Manjali RBA came into trouble with the censors, it was the huge certificate for trying to subvert the institution of marriage. After a long 30-year career, the year 1998, I hung my class as a director. My film, Zahm, which was autobiographical, also ran in 2000 with the censors when we had the chairperson was our dear Asha Pariji. I had to fight with the government of the day and finally release my film at huge cost. Subsequently, the film got a national award for best film on national integration, like the National Award Award. But what was heartbreaking was what I was subjected to. The year is 2016. India has entered a new age. There are more young people today speaking a different language, globally connected, having aspirations to match the mightiest nations in the world. On my right is Ali and Shayad, on the left is Zoya. Ekta sits behind the other people who are the future, who dream larger dreams than we dreamt. All our talk of growth and progress is poppycock if the perfume of freedom which the founding fathers gifted to us is taken away. Do you want to make India into a Saudi Arabia where there is opulence, wealth, but not the most prized asset? The right to free thinking, a society that does not respect free thought, sows the seeds of its own destruction. And this is what is happening. I come here to stand shoulder to shoulder with the filmmakers. And for my fraternity, and I'm very glad that such a mighty turnout is here. Because I think it's tragic that one of us, Bahlaj Milani, till yesterday fought shoulder to shoulder with me against the laws of the censorship which impeded us. It is tragic that one of us goes and becomes the Tory of some past which want to muzzle us. Nothing has changed. Nothing. In 73, my brother was stopped in the emergency time. Today, it is tragic that as we inch towards release day, where the stars have gone out of the way and created a film which kind of holds the mirror, which shames our Indian society about the drug menace, is being strangulated. I think every freedom-loving individual must stand up and articulate his anger against this practice that's going on here in Bollywood. I feel the day is not far that if we keep silence, we would not be make, allowed to make films that look beyond this, the, the innate film that we made way back in time when all the narratives were reduced to just a boy meets girl story and to live happily ever after. So I stand here to appeal to you to articulate our message because this will not be industry problem at all. This is a problem of our country. And I think as Dr. Ambedkar said, that freedom is a plant that we need to water individually every day. It's not guaranteed to us when we were born as a nation. This generation now, we all need to give our contribution to preserve this freedom. And that's what we are doing. And I will fight to my last breath to preserve the freedom of free thought. This is the land of Buddha. This is the land of Gandhi. And I dare anybody who can stop me from doing that. That's all I have to say. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, Vatsap. Uh, I request where I'd uh, like to address you.